Miss Juneteenth will receive a full scholarship to any historically black institution of your choice. The Dallas Police Department, they ended up surrounding us with tear gas. So no matter where we ran, we were gonna come in contact with it. And I didn't realize how bad tear gas hurt until that time. So imagining it hurt for me, there's babies in strollers. I'm people are diving on the ground to just, you know, cover, but you can't even get away from it. You're coughing. When you cough and you inhale it through your mouth, your chest, your nose, your throat, everything. We ended up going onto the highway and um there's, uh, there was a road above us and there was a police car up there, but you know, we didn't think much of it and we're in the median and um, they start throwing stuff from above us. So in between cars, there's at least like hundreds of us, hundred of us running through cars to try and get away just in case they're throwing tear gas again, because you have to get away from it. You can't stand there and sit there. So even for the fact that you know that citizens are on the highway and you are throwing tear gas and flash bombs to them from above us. Um, it was heartbreaking. That is your salad knife. One would surely not eat the main course with that. <laughs> it was an experience that made me feel as though that I want to fight more, that I want to keep speaking out more, that I want to, you know, do what's right, speak up for what's right. And the thing is, they were peaceful. Even the one in the large group, they were peaceful. It's not like we were hurting their cars, nothing like that at all. But they still surrounded us with tear gas. They still threw it down from above us. Um, and coming up next week on the 155th anniversary of Juneteenth, it just, it just breaks my heart because there should be no reason why now, 157 years after slavery is abolished, Black people still are fighting for their right. Though slavery was abolished, they still have found ways to keep us um, oppressed. I'm not cute <laughs> or built to suit a fashion model size. <laughs> that's my baby. Phenomenal woman, that's me. 